How's it going guys? I'm your host Carbon Gaming. Welcome back to this week's Adventure Quest video. So for this week's release, we only really have the Black Friday release and already sort of went through that in my Black Friday Spender Guide video. So if you guys haven't already, please do go ahead and check it out. I will link to the uh, the card to the video in the top right hand corner of the screen right now so you guys can go ahead and check that out to see what are the best buys for Black Friday inside of Adventure Quest 2021. Okay, so for today's video, I'm actually going to be doing a little bit of a shopping spree here. Okay, so so I already bought the golden gift boxes in that video, okay, and you can watch me open 650 golden gift boxes and see how my RNG gamer luck is like. Right, so we got the gift boxes, but we still have a few more purchases to do. Okay, I actually already made these purchases off camera because they involved me going into some quests and I didn't want this video to be like an hour long for no reason whatsoever. So the first purchase I made was the Harvest uh, Fest painting. I actually wanted the one with the... Uh, I wanted the original one, the one without like a year tag to it. So I got, I went ahead and redid the entire uh, collection uh, quest, offerings quest. Okay, so the one with Serenia on it, I'll go ahead and show you guys the painting right now. Okay, so this allows me to access Harvest Fest at any time of the year, which is great. So this is the painting. There we are. And then the next item that I want to pick up. Uh, that I went to pick up is actually, let's go ahead and reorder inventory here. Okay, two items here actually. Okay, let me go ahead and bring this up. So I got the Fire Dragon Talon, which is basically the fire imbue spell. Okay, I am not playing a like a new king build right now of sorts, so I don't really have a use for this, but I'll just showcase this since I got it. And the Thunder Wave Blade, which is an energy imbue. So the Fire Dragon's Talon, it gives an extra 50% damage when used. And the Thunder Wave Blade uh, gives you a chance to go ahead and, you know, paralyze the opponent as well as giving you an energy imbue. So both are really good items. I already have Terror Fist, so I didn't get that. Sneak Strike, I didn't think it was worth. It's not really an imbue. Okay, all it does is make your attack have a chance to poison and... The last one is Dragon Slayer Aura, uh, giving you a chance to Element Seek against Dragons. Not really playing that sort of build, so uh, I didn't go ahead and get that. Now, the next few items that we want to get, I actually wanted to get Sharap, but I don't have the Hero's Heart. Uh, no, not Heroes Hardy. Why do I keep saying that? I don't have the Snuggle Fest painting. So unfortunately, I can't get it during this count. But during next year, I still have a little bit of token save. I'm going to get the cheapest version. And then I will upgrade it during Black Friday to save myself some Z tokens. Okay, it is one of the best defensive armors inside of the game. And I think I'll just pick it up for the sake of, you know, collection. Alright, now let's go ahead and do some golden gift box purchases. So I opened up a bunch of golden gift boxes, but I haven't made any purchases yet. So there's a list of what I wanted to get. Nothing from the common boxes. Okay, rare boxes, we have a bunch of stuff that I want to get. So first of all, I'm going to pick up the... Oh, weapon inventory is full. Let's chuck something in the shed vault once again. Uh, Let's buy a slot here. Slots aren't half off by the way. I, I wonder why. They should definitely make slots half off in my opinion. Okay, so let me just chuck a random weapon in there that we don't use. Uh, let me see. What's a good weapon that we can chuck in there? Uh, Comet. This was a Frost Veil weapon. I can't remember what this does. So let's chuck it in the Shed Vault. Okay. Now Blazing Gauntlet of Sano is basically a clone of the Gauntlet of Sano, a fire clone. So we'll go ahead and pick this up. Very, very strong skill. That was why I wanted to get it. Okay, next item, shields. I wanted to pick up the Geo Logo shield uh, because reasons. <laughs> I mean, it's good for a dodge build. Not as good as Titans 4, but plus 24 MRM is really good. I already have the water version, but I just wanted to get the uh, earth version as well. Because why the heck not, right? I have a ton of these uh, gift boxes left. Next up, we have the Call uh, Cositus Fiend of Nalgev. Okay, so this one is the SP version. So we'll go ahead and get this. It's basically an Ice Clone of the uh, Dread Fiend of Nalgev, but Ice Backlash damage. Ice Backlash, strongest backlash inside of the game right now. So you definitely want to get that. Especially if you have the donation contest items. I do not have the top few items, which are the best ones. I only got the cheap, like, uh, the cheap ones that you can get by donating 1 to 2,000 tokens. So, yeah. Still good, so I'm going to pick this up in case I want to play a Backlash build in the future. Uh, let me see here. Let's buy some extra spell slots. Oh, spells are kept too. Okay. I hit the limit for spell slots as well. I didn't realize that. 
and yes, my stupid Genius Orb of Power. Hold up, I actually have two of it, right? Where's the other one? Hold on, let me see. Yeah, let's go ahead and sell this. Silly me, I have no idea why I bought two of this. But luckily, it's only a common golden gift box. Still a little bit of heart pain from wasting a common gift box, but you know, it's not that bad. Okay, so buy this core Crocytus Fiend of Nalgaf. Alright, and then let's see here. Last one, Fire Mimic. Okay, so the Go Hungry Inferno Fire Mimic. This one is the third best fire damage pack in the entire game. The first being Plush Nugget. That one is a premium item you can only get from buying, uh, I think it was some item from Hero Mart. Was it that or was it from the Kickstarter? I think it was from the Kickstarter. Yeah, from the Kickstarter, which I didn't have, unfortunately. That's okay. It's either the Kickstarter or the... Moglin package. I can't remember which one it was, but it doesn't matter. I don't think I'll be getting those anytime soon, so I'll get this one. The second best is Flame Bot from the Ultra Rare Shop, but I don't think a uh da pure damage pet like Flame Bot is worth the uh Z to worth the Ultra Rare gift box, you know. So we are not going to pick that up. Say we're just going to pick up Go Hungry Inferno Mimic Pets. Let's buy an extra slot for the pet. Ooh, magic number hit for the pet, 69 slots. Alright, so let's buy this. Basically, you can feed it some gold to make it do extra damage. Alright, and that's it for the rest. And last but not least, we have Ultra Rest. Ultra Rest, I only really have one thing to pick up, and that is the Full Dog pet. Uh, Full Dog is the best petrify pet in the entire game. On top of giving potence, it also has a chance to petrify. Very hard chance to petrify with its attack. That's why I think it's pretty good. So I actually think it's worth to pick this up. Alright. Hold on, wait. Let me let me check on something first. Wait, wait, wait. I feel like I'm missing something out. What's the one that I'm missing out? Oh yeah. Cryo Cannoneer. Best ice damaging uh best ice damage guess in the entire game. I forgot uh, I actually forgot to cover this in the Spender's Guide video, but this is actually a worthy pickup as well. Considering it's only a rare, so I think I will pick this up too. Okay, call Legion Cryo Cannoneer, but I need to chuck one spell in the Shed Vault. Let's see here. What shall we chuck in there? Uh, oh wait, wait a minute, I actually already have this. <laughs> oh, that was lucky, I almost bought a second version of it. Okay, okay, I actually already have it, I didn't realize that. Well, I can't even remember what I have and what I don't. Okay, so I haven't bought full full dog yet, right? Let me just double check. Yeah, I haven't. Okay. Let's buy full dog. Oops. Buy an extra pet slot. Oh, there goes away the magic number. Oh well. <laughs> full dog. Let's get this. You can get the flame bot and the aqua bot as well. They are best in slot damage for their respective elements in terms of pets. But uh, for pure damage alone, like I said, I don't think it's worth an ultra rare. If you're playing a beast master build, you don't want to play effects. You just want pure damage. Then I guess uh, this is an okay pickup. Yeah. Now we'll go ahead and uh, sort out the inventory. And then we'll show you guys the items that we've bought for today. So f for weapons, we only have one. That's the Gauntlet of Sano. Let me show that off. Armors, I don't think we bought any. Okay, shields, I have Geo logos, so let's bring that up. Spells, we have Cositus Fiend of Nalgaf, which is, which is our guess. Pets. Pets, we have Go Hungry Infernal Mimic. As well as our full dog. Finally, after so long, I'm finally picking up full dog. Full dog has been in here for like a super long time, but I never really picked it up. Because I was short on gift boxes. They didn't really want to waste uh, ultra rare on that. Okay, so that's all the stuff. Let's save our order. Now let's go ahead and check out the stuff. Okay, set trainers. So first things first, let's check out the imbue spell. So since that was the first thing that we bought. Okay, full intellect uh, build, no 
This uh defensively, okay. Let me switch to one with a neutral lean. Wait no, which one is the neutral lean one? Neko, right? Okay, Neko has a neutral lean. So take away the shield, take away the pet, and let's do fire dragon talon, alright. So I don't think this is a quick cast, right? Is it a quick cast? Oh yeah, it's a quick cast. Okay. So in build fire damage as well as extra fifty percent damage. So uh, great synergy with Blood Zerker as well as your Blood Mage armor. So if you really want to maximize fire damage, you want to do that. It's a quick cast, so you can just use it before you use your Purple Ring. And it's essentially a free spell. Next up, we have Thunder Wave Blade. Okay, so this one is energy version and has a chance to paralyze your opponent. Paralyze did not work there. Yeah, okay, the Paralyze is not that great. You can see it even against Combat Practice Trainer. I'm not getting off the Paralyze for some weird reason. Come on. Vanishes without effect. Yeah, so you can see it is really bad. Based on weapon damage, they're... Oh, okay, maybe we try something with more damage. Let's try Gone Lord of Sano. 392 SP. Does it stack with this? Hold on, let me see here. Boom. Searing lasers. Okay, so yeah. Based on weapon damage dealt, the more damage you deal, the higher the chance of infliction, I guess. And I'm not using any boost that explains why it's so weak. Gone Lord of Sano, 392 SP. So 1, 2, 3. Yep, 3 hits. I think it's uh pretty cool looking, the effect, but I don't know why the weapon is held like that. It just looks kind of ugly when it's held like that. Okay, uh, if you boost it up, I think it can do pretty good damage, but I don't have it boosted. That's why the damage is so weak, but that's fine. Alright, so for shields, Geo Logos. Okay, so it's basically a recolored version of Logos, and if you click on it, okay, so it projects a psionic barrier. You can see uh, our MRM has increased greatly, so it's good for dodge builds, but, you know, Titan's Fall is a free alternative, uh, so get Titan's Fall instead of this. I just picked it up because I'm a collector. Alright, spells. Now we have the Cositus Fiend of Nalgaf. Wait, is it not in here? Oops. Where in the world is my Cositus Fiend of Nalgaf? Oh, okay. So let's see what it does. Uh, let's just start. Okay, so just try and do it without any boosters whatsoever. Shields, take this away. Let's see how the pet looks. Okay, so it looks exactly the same. The weapon looks different, that's about all. Uh, let's have it do the regular attack first. Two hits, okay. Decent damage, not the best, but this is not the best ice damaging pet in, uh, guess in the game. There will be Legion Cryo Cannon here, so I'm not expecting big damage. Oh, oh, there's a 4 hit as well. Oh, the 4 hit is pretty good. Let's cast Void Reflection. Ice Element Backlash. Reflect 92% uh, as ice damage. Nice. Successful save negates damage. Boom. Did he save successfully or something? Oh, wait. He didn't hit us. Okay. Yeah, if he didn't hit us, you don't get the damage. Come on, hit us already. Damn it. Hit me, please. Are you kidding me? Okay, you know. <laughs> what the heck? The one time when I want combat tra practice trainer to hit me, he can't. Let's do this against a regular monster. Right, bubble elemental. Wait, ice is minus 50%. Ah. God, why the heck do I always get the worst things for testing? Fire Dragon, okay, this should be good. 3 3. 1000 over backlash, guys. Just the pet alone. Just the guess alone. No damage, no boosting, no whatever. Just 250 charisma. Yeah, this, this is crazy, guys. Definitely go ahead and pick this up. Okay, now let's go ahead and test out the Fire Mimic. Okay, this one causes gold, but it's a basically non-existent amount, so you don't really need to care too much about that. Take this away. Uh, 
uh, Go Hungry Inferno Mimic. Oh, forgot to rename that. Snarl. Translation. Hello, new friend. I do more damage than other pets, but I'm hungry and need go to attack. Click me if you want to see how much go I need per turn. Okay. Hold on. I want to do this without any funny boost or whatever. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. You need to give it go to attack normally. 2,206. For the regular attack. Two hits. Uh, yeah. This is not doing more than... 2,206. Yeah, that's pretty pathetic damage. Okay, 170 plus. Uh, yeah, it's not noticeable. Okay, 6,618 gold to make them deal even more damage. Alright, so let's go ahead and do this. Then, okay. It licks the enemy for like two hits. Okay, so this one is a bit more noticeable. 6,000 gold for that amount of damage. Is it worth? I, I guess so. I don't really know how I feel about that. And last but not least, we have the Fool Dog. Okay, so Fool Dog, the last pet. Ooh, this one looks more like a Jade Lion or something. Okay, so I guess this is the regular attack mode. You can see what it does first. Okay, two hits of Beam. Okay, and now let's click on it. Attempt to Petrify. Alright, so I think this one will do lower damage, but you will, you know. Okay. One hit, just one hit. Didn't manage to Petrify. We do get a plus 20 to Petrify status, so that's good. Alright, so nice, we have that. And now it's weak to win. Right, so yeah, I guess that's it for the showcase of the uh, stuff that we got today, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's short video. If you have, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to this channel if you guys would like to see more such future content. Till the next time, I'm your host, Korriban Gaming. Peace out.